the most important ministries in the country. It's for the rich and the very poor, it's for everybody. And what is bedeviling people living in the villages is we have small dispensaries which have no drugs mm -hmm. because county governments are not able to stock them. And Kenyans are crying over whether really we should have this under county governments or we should actually revert the entire ministry to the national government. If a law ever came to revert the ministry to the national government, would you, if approved as the CS for health, support it? Number one. Number two, again from the same scenario, everybody goes to a hospital. As soon as God helps you recover, you have no money to settle your bill. And if any through Arambes, you have all these problems. And eventually hospitals, including public hospitals, start detaining patients. And the converse of that, sometimes you may die, and the hospital detains the dead body. What policy would you put in place to ensure there is a balance, that you cannot be detained in hospital forever when you've recovered, or you can't have you, your body if you're there? Your relatives cannot have your body detained forever. At one point, there must be a stop to that. What sort of a policy would you put in place? And answer? Uh, through you, Honorable Chair, I would like to address the question by the Honorable Member. Um, yes, so currently we have a devolved uh, government, but we need to ensure that um, the supplies and uh, we are monitoring and ensuring that the supplies and services are ongoing in um, um, the last mile. And that's why I'm encouraging the digital platform. I have seen it work. I have seen it work in Fikiria Jami. I've seen it work in Mata Hospital. I have seen it work in the World Health Organization. I have seen us track medicines coming into the port and, and uh, you know, distributing it across Africa. We can monitor. We can also ensure quality we can monitor and, sh and, and ensure that the health workers are in the facilities and they are um, conducting activities as needed. So a digital platform is the way to go. There are many challenges that we face. There are many uh, teething problems that will come. But when we have that, then even the counties can sit in the offices and be rest assured looking at the quality, tracking uh, on, on the, the medications, what is out of stock, et cetera. So uh, a digital platform is critical. And again, about moving from county to national level, a consultative approach. We need to be strategic, yeah? It's not one man making decision or one woman in this case. I believe that we need to involve the county governments, we need to involve the national team and come up with the, the best interventions to address this. Deborah, before you go to the next question, uh, please do hand over your documents to the clerk's team so that they can do verification while we are going on. The Honorable Ferdinand. Oh, you have one more question. Yes, the retention of dead bodies and the recovered patients until money is paid to various hospitals. What will you do? That's what the, yes. the Honorable Member has asked. Yes. So strategically thinking, we need to consult and see what are the gaps, what is causing this, and then involve Treasury. It's money. Mm. Yeah. So I'm coming uh, out of government, so my first agenda will be to review these cases with the national technical team and the county government to identify the, what, what is causing or contributing to this challenge. And from there, I believe we'll be able to get interventions. Ferdinand. I think it's more or less the same thing, but all I'm saying, um, Madam, if we are going to be appointed, 
as a CS in health, I think reducing the health care, uh, let's be serious about it. As my colleague I just mentioned, it's very, very serious, a crucial item as we members of parliament. Even now as I'm sitting here, there are phones coming from my constituency. Please, um, we have got Harambe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, you as a PS, you are coming in. Uh, should be able to have very strategic plans mm -hmm. uh, to, so that uh, we, the, the, the expensive uh, treatments like cancer, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, again coming up every time, should be able to come up with something very, very strategic uh, for us to reduce um, the cost of treatment and, of course, uh, affordable uh, access to uh, uh, to health care. Um, come up with something that uh, can be able to save these members of parliament in having Arambes every other day because uh, somebody is going to India instead of us, somebody come here and had two, three cases where somebody went to India and he died there. So, and everybody now comes to me, how do you get the body here? But more so, uh, this uh, so-called uh, cancer drugs, which is actually uh, is an issue in this country. So come up with a plan. So I see your experience um, is very wide. So let's hope that you're going to have that kind of plan to be able to assist us in this.